Hey there, it's Dr. Justin Marcajani. Today's video is going to be a quick one to review lab test instructions. So if you already watched the first video, we review the website and how to make appointments and different information and the podcast and subscribing to the YouTube channel and the members area, which you access at the top right-hand corner, justinhealth.com, members dash or members hyphen area. Also click right there. The password is just in health, all lowercase, no spaces. So once you're in here, all the diet review stuff, all of the lab test instructions, which is where we are going to focus on here today. So again, typically off the bat, we have a three body system approach where body system one has to do with the hormones. So our big three hormone tests are going to be adrenals, thyroid, and or female or male hormones. So our most common test we do off the bat is going to be an adrenal test. Typically it's either a 201 adrenal. It'll say on the bottom of your protocol. So again, if you go and look here at the bottom of your sheet. Here's a sample one of what one looks here. So you can see just generally what we're talking about. I'm going to pull it up on screen in one second. So you'll see a blank protocol sheet popping up here. And at the very bottom, you're going to see what kind of lab it is. It'll say the lab here for body system one or the DRG or GI map or 401H for body system two or Organics Easy Pay or Cash or Great Plain Lab Oats tests. I mean, all these different labs are going to be right there. So just be mindful of it. You have access to it. All the instructions are here. Here's the link to the members area. Here's the password as well. Again, some of this stuff is subject to change. Actually, all of it is. But be mindful, the general take homes will always be here for you. So going back to the members area, let's say we did the Dutch, we did the Dutch adrenal, the Dutch adrenal test will be right here. We click on the Dutch adrenal test. Very simple follow the instructions here. These are all at home tests. The only tests that aren't at home are going to be the blood test that require a requisition form for you to go to your local lab core. So you follow the instructions on the first page. Very simple. Any questions outside of these instructions, you are instructed to call the lab right there. They'll be able to walk you through it. Make sure you fill out the correct requisition information. So this is going to be the adrenal. So make sure you check on that new patient paperwork if it actually says adrenal. So we have the Dutch complete, which is a little more money. Be mindful of it. Make sure if it's the adrenal, it says the adrenal. If it's the complete, make sure it says the complete. If you're not quite sure, go look at your invoice and your protocol. It'll all say on the invoice and the protocol. But fill it out. Very simple. Sign your information. Put all the questions here. Send it in with the lab kit. All of the instructions are here. FYI, if it's a full-on month-long test like the complete it's very simple we'll do it on day 19 to 22 of the cycle you know you can go 19 to 24 if you need to again that's going to be for the complete for the adrenal though this is the adrenal it will not matter what day it is collected so let's go back here here's going to be the next set here is going to be the 201 the 201 lab test is the other one that we do some for time to time Here's the 201 instructions. This one will not require a requisition form for you to sign. This one will just be very, very simple. It will have all of the instructions in here as well. This will be an at-home kit. There'll be nothing to sign. Uh, you may have to write Bill Dr. J on the signature line, but outside of that, you should be good. This tells you how to do the test, what should be in the kit, uh, preparing for it, when to actually do it, the actual specimen times, any questions, you can actually call BioHealth and they'll be able to help you how to package up your specimen. Be mindful, some of this may change. Just know that all of the information will always be updated here in the members area. So this is pretty much body system one still. That's the adrenal, that's the 201 and the Dutch adrenal. Let's go to the Dutch complete and the 205. Dutch complete is going to be right here. It says Dutch complete. This includes adrenal and hormones. So the complete is both the adrenal and the hormones. The Dutch adrenal is just the adrenal. Be mindful that you are doing the complete. It does cost more. If you do uh, the complete, but you really were only charged for the adrenal, you will be charged for the difference. So just make sure you check your protocol and or your invoice for that. So here's the Dutch complete. Same instructions as the adrenal, the only difference is if you're a female who is cycling hormonally, you will do the test on day 18 to 22. It'll say it right over here and you can push it out or 19 to 22. You could push it out to day 24 if you need. Like if you get the test a day late or so, you can always do it a few days late. Not a huge deal. How to collect it's all in here. Uh, all the same questions are there. You'll see my signature, my info, and it says Dutch complete will be checked off. 
And then again, the same instructions will be there. You'll see it says Dutch completes underline. Make sure it's Dutch complete. All the rec form info is there for you. This needs to get mailed in with the kit. So just be very, very mindful of that. This tells you when the collections are going to be done as well. Collections on day one, day two, and then the overnight sample, then day three or sample day three and four on day two. So just be mindful. All the instructions are here. You can always call the lab for anything else. And then all the FAQs for the lab are all going to be here. So just make sure you check this out. This will give you all of the info that you need. So regarding if you miss a collection, follow it. Um, take samples in order, follow that. Just follow all those things ahead of time. Let's go back here to the 205. The 205 is BioHealth's version of the DRG complete. So if we go down here to the 205, that's the adrenal and sex hormones, very similar to the Dutch complete. Well, this will be a, a salivary sample. The Dutch's will all be urine samples. The 201 and the 205 will be a salivary sample. It says it all here. Um, saliva, saliva-based samples. Again, same instructions as the 201. The only difference is with this test, at-home test, again, send in the, you know, there won't be necessarily a rec form attached to this. You'll just have the instructions. The rec form will be in the kit. At the very most, you'll just write in Bill Dr. J on the signature line, but everything else should be 100% dialed in. Again, all the instructions should be very, very similar. And then outside of that, um, prepaid shipping. All these labs have prepaid shipping for the most part. The Dutch may not because that is a, um, a postcard-like sample, so you can send that in a very simple uh, first-class mail package. Again, it says exactly when to complete the test. Everything is there 100%, so that should all make sense to you there. And then how to package it up, shipping's paid for, everything else should be good off of that. This is the 205. This test is done, again, on day 18 or day 19 to 24 of your cycle as well. Be mindful of that. So we went over the 201 and the Dutch adrenal. They're basically analogous. One saliva, one's urine. The Dutch adrenal's urine, 201 saliva. We went over the 205 which is going to be similar to the Dutch Complete. The Dutch Complete will be the urine. The 205 will be the saliva. They will both look at adrenal and female and or male hormones. The 205 can also be done by a male as well. Any men, you do not have to worry about when you do it. Women have hormones that fluctuate, so it depends on when they do it. Typically, we're trying to get a window into the luteal phase where progesterone spikes and drops. That's why it's important when we do it for women that are cycling. Women that are menopausal, it does not matter. They're basically treated like men because their hormones are flatlined. They can do the test whenever. Any woman who's doing a 205 or a Dutch complete, that's when it matters when the test is done. If it's a 201 or a Dutch adrenal, it does not matter when the test is done. So 205s in Dutch complete will be done on day 18 or 19 to 24. If you're a menopausal woman, doesn't matter. If it's a man, doesn't matter. And if it's a regular adrenal, it does not matter either. So that pretty much wraps up the hormones. We have a couple of obscure ones. We have a 209, which is a female hormone one that's not on here. We typically... Um, don't do it that often, but that's a test that just looks at female hormones. We a lot of times do it for menopausal people, or um, we do it on day 19 to 24 in that last half of the cycle. Also, here's the 208. This is a month-long test that we do for women that maybe have fertility or you know more severe cycle-based issues, and then we can map out their cycle. We take the sample typically on day two, four, six, eight, every other day up to day 34. And again, follow the specimen instructions. Um, make sure you do everything appropriately here on the requisition form, shipping. Everything's pretty much the same. Follow the instructions. Make sure you don't skip a day. Keep everything uh, in, in the refrigerator slash freezer. Just follow the instructions there, and you should be good to go. This wraps up the test for body system one, which includes male hormones, which could be a 205, or female hormones, which, which could be a 205, and or Dutch complete. Adrenal test 201 and or Dutch adrenal could be for a man or a woman and just follow the instructions. A 208 will typically be a month long for the woman. We also have the 209 which is a spot check for female hormones only and we also have the 255 which is a single sample progesterone that we do from time to time. So be mindful of that. Those are all the body system one the ATF, adrenal thyroid female hormones, or ATM, adrenal thyroid male hormones. The only last test is the blood test, which is typically right here. 
a requisition form will be mailed to you. You'll get this completed. We typically use LabCorp. You'll follow the instructions. Do all tests fasting unless otherwise told you can eat. But for the most part, always default to not eating and not taking any supplements till after the test. Always default to that. Bring the rec form to the lab. Uh, very simple. Make sure you drink enough water. No eating before midnight the night before. Uh, very simple. Bring the rec form and you should be good to go. So outside of that, follow the instructions here and you should be set. So that covers it. ATM, adrenals, thyroid, male hormones, and ATF, adrenals, thyroid, female hormones. And the blood test is for the thyroid hormones. Hope that helps. Thanks. This is Dr. J. Be aware we have body system two test coming your way right away. Thanks.